Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're going to start the first of a two-part uh, mini-series on this guy here, the Rock Power 500 Portable Power Station. What we're going to do today is unbox it and get it charged up. And then in the next part... We'll have a better look at it and how it works. But as you can see, this is the Rock Power 500, battery capacity of 504.44 watt hours. It weighs 12.3 pounds. There are outputs. We have a uh, two AC outputs, two USB A, one USB quick charge, one USB C power delivery port. Two 5mm DC ports, one car port input. Yeah, so let's get this thing out of the box and see what's in there. Alright, so the box is pretty big. I've just moved it out of the way. And we're going to find out what's inside. Alright, first thing on top. We've got a, uh, I think these are called like Sony cables, car adapter, and an AC adapter, output 24 volts, 3 amps, and that's where the Sony cable goes into. Also in the package, we have a quick start guide, a user guide. And that's probably just one of them redone in Chinese. All right, next out is the device itself. And that is all that is in the box. So let's reposition here. All right, so here's the item itself. About the size of a tall shoe box, I would call it. Not too heavy. Not too bad to move around. So if we look at the front panel here, we got a, a label here, 500 watts, PS500, 505 watt hours. And then we have all of our inputs and outputs here. Here we have DC in, in and a very important, never exceed 24 volts. Here we have your, your standard 12 volt car outlet, what used to be known as a cigarette lighter adapter. Over here we have a couple of, <laughs> we got nice tight uh, caps on it. Yeah, there we got a couple of AC outputs. Here we have a 45 watt USB-C, 5 volt 3.1 amp, 5 volt 3.1 amp, and then that blue in there is the uh, the quick charge. Now, you may have noticed I skipped this one, and I wanted to come back to it because this is the reason that I think this is such a cool unit. This is what's known as an Anderson Power Poles connector. These are widely used in the amateur radio world and also in uh, RC aviation. So, having this here is fantastic. So, let's power this guy up. Wait, I'm going to change the camera and turn off the... Uh, light. There we go. So we're at 48%. I don't know how well you can see that. I can turn that percentage on and off. So here we have our DC. It's telling us our output there is zero watts. Over here we have AC. USB. The AC is not switching on probably because we don't have anything plugged into it. Give me one second. All right. So I'm, I'm just verifying that this is going to turn on. Is all I'm doing.
There we go. Now the AC's on. Press and hold. I can hear the fan coming on there. And it's off. We'll shut our AC off. Power off. All right, and I have plugged in the charge adapter. It is currently ten fifteen a.m. on Friday morning. So we're going to get this guy plugged in. And let me turn off some lights here so you can see better. The cooling fan is on. 69 watt input and it is charging. So we're going to let it get a full charge. And in our next video, we'll come back and take a better look at this guy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons for watching. Big thanks to Rock Pals for sending this out. And a big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.